Hey guys, Bud here with Dependable Lawn Care, and I want to talk to you a little bit about chainsaw maintenance and chainsaw tools. Um, I grew up on a farm, and so it was drilled into me pretty early on, you know, taking care of your tools, um, being prepared, you know, when you go out to cut firewood and things like that, having everything you need, and uh, so me being me, I like to organize and uh, have things you know in an orderly fashion so here's my chainsaw toolbox and it's dedicated just to chainsaw maintenance um, so I have two of these steel uh, chainsaw file guides um, if you haven't tried these man guys these are the sh pardon my language but they're great um, let me rephrase that. These are the stuff, okay? I've got one set up for my smaller chain size, uh, smaller bit size, and then I've got the other one set up for the larger. Um, and I only run two sizes of chains on the three chainsaws that I have. So <clears throat> those are the two common sizes. Now underneath those, I've got spare files. I've got the uh, the old, uh, you know, handheld file. I've got my chainsaw bar greaser. Um, I'll show you how that works actually because this was something that was new to me that I hadn't seen before until this year actually. Somebody showed me that. So I've got my scrunches in here which if you haven't heard the, the term scrunch, it's a wrench and a screwdriver combo and they call them a scrunch. So I've had people look at me funny when I say that before because I guess they've never heard that. Uh, one side's typically for your chainsaw bar to loosen the bolts for that, or the nuts rather. And then the other side is the uh, spark plug size. So, and then of course your flat screwdriver or uh, one of these, I don't remember which. Yeah, this one. This one actually has an Allen head on it because I've got a newer saw that uses a torque wrench. Um, or a torque bit to uh, loosen and tighten the bar and some of the screws that are on the saw. So I've got those. I've um, also got some spark plugs um, and I've got them marked for what they go in. Again, more, more chainsaw files. So in these tools you have the two round files. So there's one on the inside and one on the outside. And then in the middle you have the flat bar file that uh, files down the dogs or the guides while you're while you're filing the tooth. And I'll show you how that all works in a minute in case you haven't used one of those. And then underneath I do have some spare parts and stuff in here um, that aren't related to chainsaws but then I also have my uh, my spare chains. Um, looks like I've got I think I've got one for each saw right now, so two of them are actually the same size, but they're slightly different length, and then one is for the bigger saw. So I've got those, I've got my old guides, um, some files, another flat screwdriver, um, you know, just basic stuff, and then I'll, this is just a spare nozzle. <laughs> Didn't even know that was in there, but so if I would have needed it, I wouldn't even know where it was at. But, but let me show you the uh, bar greaser and show you how one of these files works real quick because these are actually both important um, so I've got a this is how I sharpen my chainsaws um, I've got my vise turned and you know my garage is a mess as it usually is but my workbench is a mess but I set it in here where the chain is free to turn and I wear gloves when I'm doing this because I am very accident prone as you can tell I've got freaking scratches all over my hands already um, so I wear gloves for everything I do because I tear myself up uh, but I've got my chainsaw bar set in the vise like so and the way these guides work is so right now I'm sharpening uh, sharpening this tooth right here hopefully you can see that let me get in here closer. Sharpening that tooth right there. So you set this down to where that round file, see how it's setting right inside the tooth? Okay, and then the flat file, if 
you look at it like this, it's actually sitting right on top of that dog, or that guide, or drag, whatever you call it right there. So it's filing the dog down while you're sharpening the tooth. So each, you get this lined up where it's set like that, and you see how the plastic piece lines up perfectly with the bar. And then when you make your drag, you just do a nice, even, steady drag. And when you end, you should be lined up again with the end of your guide. And as long as you do that, and also another little trick that I use is that I count how many drags I do on each side. So if I do three on one side, then when I flip my tool over and do the other side of the chain, the other teeth, I make sure that I do the same number. So if I do three in this direction, then I do three in this direction. And that keeps your saw cutting straight. Um, if you've ever had a saw that cuts, you know, you try to cut through something that's, say, six inches in diameter or bigger, and your saw wants to curve to one side or the other, that's because you've got teeth that are either sharper on one side, they have a more aggressive angle, to them on one side or you have one side that you've hit a rock or something and they're they're dull and they're just not cutting as good so if you take care of your chain and you whether you're using a guide file like this or just a hand file but you make sure you keep the angle correct and you keep the uh, number of drags the same it should cut the way it's supposed to every time okay and then your your bar greaser now this isn't, uh, okay, this isn't one of my chainsaws. This is actually my buddy's chainsaw that I'm sharpening for him. Uh, but on the Oregon bars and on the Husqvarna bars that I have right here, there's a little hole. It's very tiny. It actually looks about like that spot right there that's got the paint wore off on it. But it'll be close to this sprocket. Okay, so you got a sprocket inside here, inside the bar, that carries your teeth around the tip of the, of the bar. So what this is for is you put it in that little hole that's right here in the bar and then you just push on it. And you push all the way down and then let off and then you do it again and usually twice is all it takes. And you'll see grease come out all the way around the tip. And what that does is it lubes the sprocket and it lubes the teeth around the end of your bar and it keeps that sprocket in the end of your bar from wearing down and wearing out over time. So if you do a lot of tip cutting which, you know, of course, isn't smart if you don't have the right bar. But uh, if you use the tip of your saw for, uh, you know, carving and and uh, and doing straight cuts into a log or into a uh, tree trunk, that's really handy to have. Uh, and some bars have it and some bars don't, apparently, because uh, my buddy brought over a couple of his steel saws and uh, and asked me if I could sharpen them for him. And neither one of them have that but my Husqvarna's both do and I believe my little uh, my small husk or my small steel does that has uh, uh, it's like an 007 or 070 it's a tiny little steel saw that's like 20 years old um, but I've, I've put an Oregon bar on it because I wore out the original bar and it's got that so anyway uh, that's enough of that guys I just wanted to uh, show you my little setup for chainsaw maintenance and chainsaw tools and uh, kind of give you a quick guide on how I sharpen. So as always guys, get out there and make some money, take care of your tools, and we'll see you on the next one.